Hi, welcome to this Coping Maps primary video on negative numbers. You may have seen negative numbers before in a range of places. For instance, you may have seen a number line like this before, and there might even be one up in your classroom wall where you've got zero in the middle, positive numbers to the right and negative numbers to the left. You may have seen some negative numbers on a thermometer before. So in other words, when it goes below freezing point, so you've got these negative numbers. Um, negative numbers, for instance, you may have encountered or heard of them in a sort of a, a money situation, such as bank accounts, whenever they become overdrawn. For instance, if, it, if someone had £50 in the bank, and they spent £150 on a television, their bank account would then go to minus 100. In other words, they owe the bank £100. Um, you may have seen negative numbers in lifts, so you know basement floors, minus one, minus two, minus three, and so on. So there's loads of different situations where you may have encountered negative numbers. In this video, I'm gonna look at how to answer some questions where we're adding and taking away, which might involve negative answers. Um, also, we're gonna look at how to answer some questions on negative numbers based on temperatures and um, things like that. Okay, so let's have a look at our first question. Our first question is to work out 2 subtract 3. So as with basic subtraction, for instance, if I was to work out 5, take away 1, I would go to 5 on the number line and I would go 1 to the left and the answer would be obviously 4. If I want to work out 2 subtract 3, I'm going to go to 2, to the, uh, two on the number line and I'm going to go 3 to the left. So 1, 2, 3, so the answer would be negative one, okay? So two subtract three is equal to negative one or minus one. Okay, next question. Our next question is to work out four subtract seven. So go to four in the number line here, and we're gonna go seven to the left. One, two, three, four, five. Sorry, excuse my uh, little curves, it's hard to draw on, on this uh, trackpad. Five, six, seven so our answer is minus three so our answer is minus three okay next question our next question is minus one plus three so we're going to go to minus one on the number line and we're going to go three to the right so one two three so our answer would be equal to two so minus one plus three is two our next question our next question is to work out minus seven plus two so we go to minus seven on the number line and we're going to add two so we're going to go two to the right one two so the answer is minus five okay next our next question is minus one subtract seven so we're going to go to minus one on the number line here and we're going to subtract seven so we're going to go seven to the left so one two three four five six seven so our answer is minus eight right so our next question is to work out 10 subtract 60. so first of all let's start off with 10 and we're going to take away 10, and 10 take away 10 is 0. But altogether, we need to subtract 60. So if we've taken away 10, we've still got another 50 to subtract. So 0 take away 50, well, 0 take away 50 is going to equal minus 50. So our answer would be minus 50. So our next question asks us to fill in the missing numbers. So we've got blank, add 6 is minus 1, and then add another 6, and we'll get another blank. So let's get this number to begin with. So we've got minus 1, add 6. So minus one add six, well, that brings us to zero. And then we've got one, two, three, four, five, will bring us to five, okay? So six more than minus one is five. Okay, so we've got this blank on the left-hand side. So we know we've added six, so to go backwards, we're gonna have to subtract six, okay? So minus six. So six less than minus one, so counting down six will bring us to minus seven. So our two missing numbers are minus seven and five. Right, our next question. Our next question says, what temperature is shown on the thermometer? So we've got this thermometer. Uh, we've got the temperature here shown, and it is minus 3 degrees Celsius. So minus 3 degrees Celsius. The question then says, the temperature rises 5 uh, degrees Celsius. What temperature is it now? So we just need to go 5 to the right. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And the answer would be 2 degrees Celsius. Okay, the next question, we've got the temperatures in five towns. We've got Leek, five degrees Celsius, Milton, minus two degrees Celsius, Donhampton, one degree Celsius, Red Town, minus six degrees Celsius, and Sandville, seven degrees Celsius. And the first question says, what town has the lowest temperature? So as you can see here, minus six is the lowest number, and that's in Red Town. So the answer is Red Town. Red Town has the lowest temperature. 
And the last question, it says, the temperature in Coventry is nine degrees Celsius cooler than in Leek. So in Leek, the temperature is five, so we're gonna do five, subtract nine. So if we subtract five from five, that brings us to zero, and we've got another four to subtract, so our answer would be minus four degrees Celsius. And that's it.